Namde Kano. Nigerian court issued notice to DSS boss Biji of consequences of disobeying order, risk of jail incarceration. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about Namde Kano, a man that has been set free by court of law, but DSS continued to detain him. Since the days of Buhari that he was arrested, Biji has kept him in custody, just like the plan between him and Malami when they claim that they are going to keep him in custody until he die and that is exactly what they are doing but what we are saying now is that we would never tolerate such thing because Namde Kano is not a mismit that they can put anywhere they like and left him there with Tato set him free when the court has says set him free Api court set him free and told Nigerian government to listen what they did was continue to keep him in communicado. Later on, they took him to Supreme Court. The same Supreme Court claimed that he did not jump there. But instead of Supreme Court setting him free, they redirected him back to High Court. Whereas they are away that because of the condition, how they brought Namdekal to Nigeria, they don't have any right to try him. But Namdekal has had patience for so long. And that process, so many courts have set him free in Nigeria. Even asked Nigerian government to pay him compensation that they have refused to do. Rather, they continue to keep him in custody as a country that has refused to obey court order. And their judiciary, as corrupt as they are, have refused to do something about it. But somehow, after the last sitting, that Mazen Namdekalo was so angry. For that reason, he decided to address the court. After addressing the court, they have come to the terms that Namde Kano did not commit any crime and must be set free. And for this reason, High Court has warned Bichi to allow Namde Kano free chance to see his lawyers the way they want otherwise he should be ready to face the consequences the question is this a big court has set him free they charge him and they refuse to release him just like what they did in 2015 16 and 17. now the supreme court has said he did not jump there so the question is why was he arrested why was he kidnapped because he was not arrested Nigerian government had disgrace. Namde Kano is a freedom fighter, unlike Mietiala, who is a killer, and has accepted in several times that he sent Flanitroids to murder innocent people because they killed their cow. What about Abakia that they just set free? This was a man who murdered 6,000 innocent youth in Aba, in Imo State Amin. Today, Nigerian government has dropped the whole charges. A man who was caught with drug, a 419er, a killer. Nigerian government has dropped their charges against him. They also dropped their charges against Shore, against his son, the Iboho, who committed the same crime. If, I assume we should call it a crime, but we all know that self-determination is not a crime. It's only in Nigeria that they see it as crime because they are criminally minded and they want to keep you in Nigeria by force which is unacceptable Binta Nayako has issued a warning to Bichi DSS boss who has refused to release Namde Kano after he was set free by a big court and continue to detain him for no reason that he should stop disobeying court order so we all believe that Namde Kalo will be set free soon and may God Almighty make it to be that way they have done everything possible to make sure that they stop the release of Namde Kano Nigerian government and their collaborators has killed so many Biafrans 
They have also killed so many Boso Jazz. Why that it? They will claim that it is IPUB and Eastern Security Network. In that way, none they can we could not remain in custody because he is the one that created them. But the world knows that IPOB is not a terrorist organization, apart from the backyard prosecution did by Buhari in a hurry because he wanted to keep on Namde Kano in check. Even the United Nations, the EU, the Amnesty International has come to say that IPOB are not a terrorist organization. They are worldwide doing their meetings without anybody complaining anything, without anybody complaining of his properties being stolen. That is what a freedom fighting group is supposed to be. It's only in Africa that fighting of freedom is neglected. It's only in Africa that freedom fighter will be arrested and nobody will say anything about it. Scotland just had their first referendum and planning more. Nobody stops them, nobody attacks them, nobody calls them terrorists. So why should indigenous people of Biafra, a country that fought war, a genocide that they claim it is war for three guiding years, three million innocent youths were starved to death, innocent Igbo youth. So many people were killed. They pleaded for the stop of the war. That they are going to rehabilitate everything destroyed in Ibu land. But what did they do? They neglected it. And they still want you to remain in one Nigeria. And when someone says, I am no longer interested in one Nigeria, someone like Hamid Tinibu, who was against one Nigeria before, will come out and say, you are committing treason. Is this not madness? Nigerian government has not told us why they still keep Namde Kano in custody after the so-called Apiko that set him free. We believe so much in justice. We believe so much in judiciary. Even though we know that Nigerian judiciary are dubious. But we believe so much in Nigerian judiciary. That is why we have kept quiet for so long. But immediately the Apicot set him free. That was three years ago. To date, these people has refused to set him free. They could not keep him in communicado in DSS custody. BG, as a flanny man, believed that he's above the law. And for this reason, he could not keep Nam the Kalin in DSS custody. Who is fooling who? You can't judge him in Nigeria. The one he judge is enough. Apicot has set him free. Take him back to England where you got him from you don't have right to judge him you cannot destroy the treaty you had with the european countries and come back here to say you want to try a man that you adopted from kenya with the help of kenya government Keta. that man will die through food death go and mark it one place Unless we do not have his father, why the British were after him in Igbo land, in Amechim Batrika's house? Gave him shelter, gave him food to eat. Until later on, when he decided to go back to his country. Without the Igbo people, the father will not be a president of Kenya. And he will not succeed his father. This is the reason why I said that that Keita will die a painful death for betraying Namde Kano, a freedom fighter who came to their country for a business trip. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.